so uh, even for drag and drop also team the same api okay so uh, let me take a you know kind of a new class here that's something i'm going to be take uh, so separate drag and drop api drag and drop demo okay so let me tell you the use case team here my use case is let me open a form so this is the see, keep on some of the application they are allowing to do the drag and drop team so i just launched this application team something called jot form in this jot form application you have a something you know you can drag this heading uh, it's the page is loading just uh, be with me team just give me a second the page is getting loading so see here uh, you can drag the controls like this team okay so just i want to let you know here today how to do this a uh, drag and drop now okay so what i'm gonna do team i'm gonna be creating a new class now a drag and drop hope it's visible now uh, i'm creating a web driver object here web driver driver request to something say new firefox driver okay let me maximize this program the screen so web driver import this <laughs> web driver well so let me enter this url team driver dot get uh, something say driver dot get so url the url is something let's say team jot form dot com http colon www.ajotform.com let me maximize the browser driver dot manage dot window dot a maximize then i want to do the drag and drop if i want to do the drag and drop thing again same api actions builder equals to new actions driver you have to supply then take team directly web element where you want to do the drag that's something you can provide the name as a source web element something source equals to driver dot find element so i'm returning a web element now let me import this so first let's get the property i just want to do the heading full name i want to do the full name right click inspect tell me to the firebug so i have a span tag and full name i'm directly using the xpath function here team driver dot find element by dot xpath then take directly slash slash span open brace text off i'm using xpath function here as you know these are the functions coming from the xpath api close this then again web element something target where you want to drag driver dot find element so i want to drag into this area team okay see here my right click is not at all working it is bringing some other options i'm not able to do this okay okay then what i'll do is team i'll be get this property directly this window property here so by doing this drag and drop operation by clicking an element option let me close this thing application is got died here let's close this let's close this again if table super not able to do any other things here let me close this okay so now hope i will get the properties now so the drag area properties sitting this is what my drag area and i have a drag area property called id equals to list id equals to list i got id equals to list by dot id equals to list that's it so i have a source and i have a destination now target let me import this package team okay now you can directly take here directly builder dot drag and drop you need to pass your source and target team already i have a source and target then dot build dot perform is an action team perform is an action okay it's automatically doing this drag and drop i hope let me run the program So it will be maximize the browser. We could 
fitness one thing it is not at all maximizing it uh, maximized okay we have a pop-up team here we have a pop-up so how can i close the pop-up when i say escape it will be do yes it is going it now what i'll do is team after launching the browser after maximize it i'll do this driver dot map find element by dot css selector equals to body you might be this is something new to you css editor body i'll be explaining in a short while team keys dot escape is the function escape okay let me rerun let me run the program if works then i'll explain you about what exactly css selector and body so hope uh, i'm just expecting to drag first name or something full name property into my list let's maximize the browser perfect it's working so uh, this is how you're doing the drag and drop team let me explain you about the css selector so when i land this application team here i got directly a pop-up okay so by defaultly always selenium launches a new browser team once you open your existing browser automatically your browser store the catchy and cookie so in your mission it's not at all ha happening but you open with the selenium selenium always launches the fresh browser so it doesn't have any cookies and you know any sketchy so obviously every time it will give you this pop-up team so whenever the first time launching you might be seen you know when you're first time launching you have you you might be have a security sort of things so this is what i you know kind of a pop-up team so i want to close this pop-up if i want to close the pop-up team i can just click on this okay but you know cancel button that is a one way another way is team when i say escape it will be again it will be vanished when i say escape but if i want to say the escape team directly keyboard even with the keyboard api also we need to provide this property right so let's say if i want to do this tab operation if i want to do the tab operation team so what i need to do i need to supply my directly let me go into this if i want to pass a tab operation what i'm going to do team i need to just provide the property then say tab here but my escape optionals i'm expecting the property team but for the escape button i don't have any property so that is the reason i just pass css selector equals to body css selector equals to body means team as you know your completely html code is coming under the body right so first we have an html then we have an head then we have a body our complete source code is available on the body that is the reason i just supplied as a body so body again i just passed only css letter the reason behind is team the only body attribute is recognized by only css selector whatever the html code we have that is completely comes under body attribute okay so every html code is comes under body so this body is recognized by only css selector that is the reason i just passed about css selector equals to body then send keys escape okay so this is the pretty simple code team for doing this drag and drop operations okay hope uh, today's class you might be clear how to handle you know mouse over menu right clicks and drag and drop so if you have any questions team uh, feel free to post me hope uh, you clear these concepts so in the next class team we're going to discuss about uh, how to extract multiple objects at a time on the web page that's something i'm going to be discuss about in the next class okay hope you clear this class team thank you thank you so much